So welcome everyone to our October health chat. And next we will hear from Ferna on healthy tips for the holidays. So take it away, Ferna. Thank you, Beth. Uh, welcome everyone. I am going to share my screen and okay. So let's see, from the beginning. Okay, great. So before I begin, well, welcome everyone. This is our October health chat and we're going to, I'm going to give you some healthy hints for the holiday. Uh, and so um, just before we get, hang on one second. Okay. Just before we get uh, started, I wanted to let everyone know that we will be adding your names to our wheel of names and for a drawing for a free um, a free bottle of our stress relief complex. Okay, so tips for a happy for healthy holidays. What I will be covering tonight is three areas: joyful celebrations, stressless holidays, and healthy eating. So it's the time of the year that we typically experience a host of powerful emotions. Uh, maybe you experience both excitement and stress about your holiday plans. Honoring your present state of mind is the key part of turning your holiday experience into a joyful event. And we all know life can get a little stressful around the holiday season. The great thing about the holiday stress is it's predictable. Unlike many other types of stress, the holiday stress, um, we know when it will begin and when it ends. And also the holiday season can be the hardest uh, time to eat healthy and maintain healthy weight. So instead of giving in to every holiday craving, help yourself to these tips for healthy eating during the holidays. So we're gonna start with joyful celebrations. Hmm. So find your holiday spirit. So start by making a list of tasks to kick off the holiday season for you. For example, when you're setting up your holiday de decorations, do it um, relaxed when you're relaxed, sipping on warm spiced beverage. Or if you're one of the lucky ones to have a fireplace, have that going. For this year, instead of rushing to get all your holiday tasks done, set aside some time for yourself to mindfully enjoy the peace of slowing your pace down. Even though you slow your pace, you will get everything done on your list. It's amazing how that works. And express your gratitude. Gratitude's been shown to be a powerful tool for our mental health and positive thinking. You can also share your gratitude with someone else. This could be um, making a phone call to someone that you're thankful for. Maybe it's an anonymous message to someone just to brighten their day. Writing down at least three things you're grateful for before you get up and go to bed is the perfect way to start and finish your day. And then you share your blessings. Uh, this could be a year in a review personal newsletter that so many of us do now. Um, for our uh, holiday Christmas card. Uh, so send it to your friends and family, sharing your favorite family holiday recipe, your photos, tidbits about what's new in your life. Maybe it's passing on some care by paying for the coffee order and the person behind you through the drive-thru. You could also start by asking, how am I blessed this year? And then find a way to pa pass it on. Mm -hmm. So you also want to stick to your supplement routine. It can be easy to skip a day or two during the busiest time of the year. Nutritional supplements can even be more important during the holidays when our normal routines are disrupted. Set a reminder on your phone uh, to remember to take your vitamins daily. Or you could use a vitamin case. I have one for morning and night. And um, by taking the time to fill it in, it... Um, my size is just for a week, but it saves me that time and it's very convenient. And if you're traveling, take your vitamins on the go with one of those little travel vitamin cases, or better yet, you could try the personalized myology packets or use the vitalizer strip. So get your work in, 
uh, workout in whenever you can. Whether you've got 10 minutes or two hours, make time to get moving. You and everyone around you will reap the benefits of your increased endorphins. You might want to explore YouTube workouts that you can do in your home or at the office or head to the gym or a guided class. For me, I work at least, I walk at least 30 minutes every day if possible. And it's a great just to get outside, breathe the air. And I really find that I distress when I take my walk. Another way to, to, to distress is to stick with the loved ones who keep you grounded. <clears throat> Identify who in your family or friend group makes you feel most comfortable and make plans with them. If they live a distance, schedule a call. Uh, it could be Zoom, a live chat. I mean, we have so many ways to connect with loved ones now. And I give you permission to say no thank you. Listen to your body and mind. If you're not feeling like another family outing on your agenda or you just need some alone time in between all the activity, you're allowed to say no, even to your loved ones. All things in moderation. Don't make yourself feel uncomfortable to make others feel comfortable. Boundaries are necessary and healthy. You can't be your best if you don't give yourself time to recharge. Pick your favorite activities and really enjoy them and skip the rest. Your loved ones will understand. You need to breathe and remember what the holiday season is all about. This time is meant to be filled with joy, spreading cheer, being thankful. So often when things feel out of control, we forget to take a few moments to stop and breathe. And one way is to practice a four, seven, eight breathing technique. So we won't do it, but I'll just explain it to you. So to do that, first you empty your lungs with air. Then you breathe in quietly through the, your nose for four seconds. You hold the breath for the count of seven. And then you exhale forcefully, going like a swoosh, swoosh for eight seconds. So four, seven, eight. And if you repeat, uh, you can repeat that four times and you'll be uh, feeling grounded again. And you can write down daily what you're grateful for in your phone or in a journal. And then anytime you feel anxious, take a peek. By practicing these simple tips, tips to relax and uh, you can enjoy the holidays and festivities more be smart about holiday eating we all want to indulge a little in holiday favorites but also want to look and feel our best with loved ones that we don't get to see that often plan ahead by being aware of your triggers do what you can to make sure you're maintaining a healthy balanced diet uh, for the most part and identify when you can allow yourself a holiday favorite. You can indulge one day, eat less the next. It can all balance out. And satisfy your holiday cravings. With this season comes all your favorite holiday flavor treats like peppermint, gingerbread, pumpkin spice. But fulfilling uh, those cravings can mean extra sugars and syrups. And so, Instead, try to look for healthier recipes that can satisfy your cravings without adding unnecessary sugar or fat to your diet. Use smaller plates and skinnier glasses. So when you use a large plate, what looks like a normal portion can actually be pretty big. So using smaller plates can make it easier to manage portion size. Also, when it comes to beverages, we all like a full glass. So a skinnier glass can help you manage how much liquid you're drinking. And then you plan ahead. As mentioned before, if you know that you're going to a big dinner during the weekend or uh, during the week, anytime, plan the week so that you can treat it as a cheat day. Consider some healthy food options before the day of the party and add to your uh, weekly fitness routine. So when the big day comes and your family wants you to try every single dish on the table, table your health and your conscience won't take a huge dent. Eat before uh, going to a party. Curbing your appetite before a holiday party can help you avoid the temptation of holiday treats. It doesn't have to be much, 
maybe a green salad, uh, some fresh fruit or a lean protein option. Uh, one, uh, an example of a lean protein option could be our um, uh, a glass of our uh, life shake. Make sure that uh, you go to the party that you're arriving and you're not famished so that you're ready to eat everything in sight. You could bring a healthy dish. Uh, if you have a potluck, everyone is going to be bringing fatty and sugary dishes. Why not be the person that breaks the trend? Uh, try bringing a fruit salad, a vegetable platter, healthy home-baked treats. My daughter-in-law does this all the time. And her latest is pumpkin pie with a crust made from dates. I can't wait to see how that recipe comes out. And choose your treats wisely. You're going to have plenty of opportunities to indulge during the holidays, and that's okay. But if you treat yourself, do it with something okay. that's worth the extra calories. At a party, have a small plate of the foods you like best, and then try to move to healthier options. Also try and limit alcohol to one glass oh, per yeah. uh, party. And so here's how you can add Shackley for a healthy holiday. So um, there are, you know, we have many Shackley products. Well, here are four that really fit into this theme. Of course, number one is the Stress Relief Complex. It promotes a calm, relaxed state using a blend of L-theanine, ashwagandha, beta-serotol, and L-triazine. And it helps produce the feeling <clears throat> of stress. Then we have B-complex. That's a, um, We call it the happy vitamin. It delivers the perfect balance of all eight B vitamins using that to help support energy, cardiovascular, brain health, cell renewal, healthy hair, skin, and nails. It does a lot. Uh, but being the happy vitamin, it just really elevates your mood. And you want to, everyone wants to stay healthy during the holiday. You don't want to get sick. And so one way that you can um, boost your immune system is use the triple defense boost. It's a great tasting, very flavored drink mix that you would just add to water. And it's packed with vitamin C and D, zinc, um, plant-based adaptogens, elderberry, and more. And finally, uh, during this uh, holiday season, we all need to get the best rest that we can so that we're energetic for the next day. And Dream Serene, Serene can help you do this. It helps you fall asleep, stay asleep, and alleviate, uh, alleviate occasional sleeplessness uh, with melatonin and a proprietary blend of valerian, lemon balm, and L-theanine. Okay, so, so in conclusion, as we embark on this holiday season, let us remember that our well-being should remain a top priority. By incorporating these tips for joyful celebrations, less stress holidays, and healthy eating into our lives, we can make the most of this special time while taking care of ourselves and our loved ones. So I want to thank you very much for allowing me to share uh, these tips with you. And now I will turn it back to Beth. Well, thank you, Ferna, so much for all this valuable information. Now, we would like to open it up for any questions or testimonies that you might have. So if there's anyone that would like to share a testimony or has a question, feel free to um, raise your hand or um, just let us know what you would like to say. Jenny? Well, I wanted to share something with everybody that's really been helpful for me as far as dealing with like daily stress. I learned about this um, app, it's called Insight Timer, and it's I-N-S-I-G-H-T-T-I-M-E-R, Timer, and it's a meditation app, and there's a guided meditation, so you can kind of pick from a whole variety, and they're free. So if anybody's interested, I, I use it on my phone. I'm not sure if you can go to the computer, but maybe, but as far as I know, it's an app for your phone, Insight Timer. I thought I would share that with people. Um, and one other thing I wanted to add, um, if you're looking for some self accountability, we've been doing all different Facebook groups and we, we have found, we have, we are using trackers 
and for all different things. So if you're trying to like hold yourself to some new habits, like healthy habits, the trackers that we've been using, whoever invited you here, you could talk to them about the variety of trackers that we have that we can offer to you. That's really helping you with, you know, maintaining healthy habits and staying focused on, you know, what you want to do and living a healthy life. So I just wanted to mention those two things. Well, thank you, Jenny, so much for that information. Anyone else would like to share? Gina? Uh, you have to unmute. Yeah, I just unmuted. Uh, what I wanted to share with everybody is one thing that's so important that I feel that helps me the most is establishing a routine. Because when I'm under the gun, I don't have to think of what I need to put in my body to get it going. In fact, I, I have examples of what I do. I find I, I have my three cup of drink here and I put in the uh, triple defense every day to keep my immunity good. I add, add the sustained energy to keep my energy good. And I add the performance to keep my electrolytes in shape. So I add all those, of course, my favorite product, I always talk about this one, and I, and I also put my liquid into that drink as well. So that's my morning drink to get me started. And then when I do my, get my shake, because I need some protein, I add this uh, essential multi-V, it, it, it's a powdered, it's a powdered, it, this is equivalent to two, taking two multivitamins. So I put that in, in my shake with, the, with a collagen stick, and I actually add, I know everybody kind of turns their nose up, but it doesn't bother me. I don't even taste it. It's the, it's the green boost. So there I put everything in these all at one time. So I don't have to think that uh, did I cover my, get all the nutrients in me today. So I just wanted to give you my little tidbits of my routine. So you don't, you just do it. And, and, and everyone needs some sort of routine to get their them started for the day. Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome, Gina. Incredible. Thank you so much for sharing that. And it is important to have a routine. I totally agree with that. Is there anyone else that would like to share? How about you, Ferna? Well, I'm um, talking about routines. I have, it's when I was working outside the home, of course, you have a rigid routine, you know, when you have to get up, when you have to be to work, when you get home. So there's a very rigid and then all of a sudden you retire and the world is your oyster. I mean, it's just that's when you really need a routine. And mm -hmm. and so I've developed a, two routines. I have a morning routine and a nighttime routine. And the morning routine for me is very easy, um, you know, but it's great not having to jump out of bed and get in the car and drive off somewhere. Uh, but it's uh, been taking me a little bit of while to figure out a good nighttime routine. Okay. And um, this is some of the things that we're learning through these wellness communities that we're involved in. And I find that um, I thought I was really doing myself. A, 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 I was I thought I was being beneficial to myself by watching TV for maybe 30 minutes and putting on a comedy show where I could laugh. Uh, and, uh, but we were learning how we really need to turn that technology off. And they do say sometimes 30 minutes to an hour before. So I do, that's what I do. Um, uh, turn it off before I go to bed. And then I have this routine of reading and it's just amazing how, uh, how much difference it has made that I can, many times I can now go to bed and my mind is not going around, woo, woo, woo. And um, so again, like Gina, it's uh, routines are really important. So, Well, thank you so much, Verna. That's great. And it is important to have both morning and nighttime routines. Is there anyone else that would like to share? All right. Well, at this time, I'm going to stop the recording. And then um, we're going to just 